لا لا رجع من الاسم لا يصور لا I wouldn't mind rocking this every single day. It's actually so comfortable. Don't have to worry about my hair. <laughs> and it's so warm out in this desert cold. We'll save half an hour every day. Museum has everything from so all these swords. And then from of course way back then, actual armor. The ambassador of the Netherlands was here. Ah yes. Under the old name. Yeah, Holland. Turn you up, What is this? First car that drove to uh, here from yeah. Ayu. Ah. But it was no highway. Oh, so this is literally off road. Hi. Shukran. Hi. Hello. Salam. Allah is near you. Salam. 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 It's a cozy corner. We're in this cool Bedouin tent to enter a museum experience with some Arabic coffee and of course delicious dates. Such a cool Bedouin tent. Look, an actual fire with a teapot heating up. Wow, I absolutely love this display of fruits that we can just snack from. It's fair now. Oh! Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I'm from Vietnam. And then Holland, the Netherlands. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, now the Netherlands. Now the Netherlands. Yeah. Now the Netherlands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the best things about traveling, hanging out with locals, making new friends, right? We just met an incredible group of guys. I don't know, there were like 10 of them. And after talking a little bit, they then invited us to have dinner. <laughs> to have dinner with to them. To stay over even if we want to. Yeah, but yeah, on top of that, to stay over, but not even just like a regular home, but they're doing a boys trip right now and they're camping out in the middle of the desert. And they're like, yeah, like we have extra sleeping bags and um, we were like, oh, uh, okay, uh, if we're not intruding. And then they're like, yeah, like, uh, what, do you have a 4x4? Four four? Yeah, like, no, and they're like, oh, we'll pick you up. Okay. Yeah, so, of course, we're gonna, we said yes, and then we arranged a time that will pick up, be picked up later, but uh, this is... I can't wrap my head around it. <laughs> What's going on? Where are we? <laughs> Saudi Arabia, you're incredible. Are you excited, Hussie? Yes, very. <laughs> I'm very excited too. I'm a little nervous too. There's like that butterfly feelings <laughs> in my stomach. <laughs> because they're, they're not like just one or two new friends. They're a whole fraternity of like an Arabic fraternity. But they're very friendly. But they're super friendly. But me with like big crowd of people, I'm always a little jittery anyways, no matter where I am. But I'm so excited and it's such, it seems like it's such a unique, cool experience to be 
bonding out in the desert with people that we just had like a five minute conversation with <laughs> and we're gonna be sleeping overnight there too so yeah we're driving there to the location that our friend sent us and then we will I guess just leave our car overnight out in the middle of nowhere it's a nice country I think you can trust it. yeah it's a really nice country like I think petty crimes are the least like I think they're harshly punished as well so <laughs> yeah like no one really already dare to do it exactly <laughs> But yes, then we're going to leave our car there and then our friends are going to pick us up in the 4x4 and drive us out into the dunes of the desert and then we're going to chow down on dinner. I'm aware that this could also be the plot of every single horror movie out there like Hostel or anything involving travelers in a land where they don't speak the main language going out in the middle of the night to a remote place with no internet, no cell service whatsoever. So I hope that I'll be able to upload this video after editing it and not that you will find this clip on the news or in like a Blair Witch Project type of scattered video. But this is the adventure that we live for and as travelers we have to have our faith in humanity and in the world and also you know so far Saudi Arabia the culture here the country has been so beautiful so let's just go with the wind oh my god all our boys are in that car picking us up now okay we're gonna park our car here, somewhere here, and then hop into there, 4x4. Four four. Thank you. Don't fall into the... ...ABS. No, not ABS, it's the... ...the... ...hydraulic. So how do you all know each other? Friends yeah. from school. From school, oh, yeah. yes. But he's a little bit younger. He's a bro uh, younger brother of uh, our father. Ah, okay, so okay. He's, he's younger brother. Ah, okay. High school friends. Ah. Wow. So for a very long time now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's Some good. of them even even further yeah. than high school. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, we're in the You see the stands now? Yeah. Maybe before one, two thousand years. Thank you. Before war, they yeah. dance. It's okay. for uh, Hamas and like that. Oh. Ah, oh, thank you for the dance. Anyway, uh, so the dance. They will come. They have a motivation. Okay. Before the war. Okay. It's, oh, it's very motivation for, yeah, yeah, yeah. for them.
try on the Vish now. Vish. 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 This we wear in uh, weddings. Ah, okay. This one, 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 one is alive. Like one? No. Yeah. This one for the yeah. This shoulder. Shoulder. Put your hands inside. Put your hands inside. Hold the right hand. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Experience. Hold it. 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 All roped up now. Yeah. Looks so nice. <laughs> this one, there is a lighter one like this one. They wear it in the weddings. The weddings, ah, yes. But the heavy one, we wear it for, in the uh, For uh, summer, hold it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's such a yes. 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 Okay. Is it big enough? He has a big head. I have a very big head. No, you you can hand it, but I'll. Looks so cool. Allah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I want one too. <laughs> How do you feel? Quite a bit. Yeah, pretty official. Yeah. I wouldn't mind rocking this every single day. It is actually so comfortable. Don't have to worry about the hair. <laughs> and it's so warm out in this desert cold the same air. Same half an hour every day. <laughs> Feels so royal in this. <laughs> like nobility. Down. Step. But slowly with the beat. Up. Uh, yeah. Down. And that's it. Yes. What makes it smooth? A smooth. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good dance. Instead, instead of going like this, and then staying up there, no, just like this is wrong. Of yourself. Because the sky is clear and the moon is clear. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Shukran. AM like that. Here.
The first dance was more about, and historically it was about war and getting ready for war and the energy and motivation around that. And now this one is more of a love epic. It's so cold at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, out in the open. I'm wearing gloves, but I'm still putting my hands to the fire. <laughs> It's a huge plate. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what animal is this? What's the meat? This is uh, which one is sheep. Sheep. Wow, it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> no, all of this is uh, fat. Fat. Fat, yes, fat. Uh, okay. So, uh, so, like, <laughs> oh, thank you. So, grab pieces. Alright, so this is the traditional meal. As you can see, we really dug into the sheep, right? <laughs> we really dug into it, and the traditional way to eat is with our right hands. And but. I'm still learning, so I made a lot of a mess. I'm going to show you how, for example, we eat. I'm spilling everything everywhere, but it's so delicious. <laughs> this will be our sleeping tent, and this is where the boys will be sleeping. And then they got us sleeping bags as well. We'll be sleeping here. <laughs> oh, let's now go up in our sleeping bag. <laughs> the last time I've been camping was probably Kilimanjaro 2016. <sighs> but this is like much more glamping style. What you doing? <laughs> Seeing if I can zip myself up because it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess you know that the desert just drops in temperature at night compared to how it heats up in the morning. Well, it's true, verified, confirmed. <laughs> All right, good night. <laughs> Oh, 
true life camping in Saudi Arabia out in the desert. <laughs> Morning. So last night we couldn't see where we were, but this is beautiful that we are in the nooks of these mountains actually, all surrounding us. So all these tents belong to our camp. So that's where we had the celebration last night. Ooh, still need to wake up properly. <laughs> mm. But as uh, you see, there's like tea and fruit set out already, and birds chirping. So peaceful. Oh, sounds like a soundtrack. Yeah, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I don't even need to find some sound effect right now. <laughs> Thanks to the birds. <laughs> these mountains all around us. Our new friends are still asleep. So we woke up not quite what time is it? It's like eleven AM. <laughs> Cause we all went to bed quite late, like two in the morning last night when the celebrations ended. Uh but last night I can't believe that last night actually happened. It's quite surreal. And so silly in this tent is quite surreal. Yeah, <laughs> seeing what this looks like in broad daylight is still surreal. <laughs> and just being able to like, go from meeting for like five minutes in a museum and then getting invited into a actual part of a Saudi life and experience. So camping actually in the north um, I believe Muftab said that it's common for them to camp yeah during the winter yeah for during Saudis. the winter yeah for Saudis which is really cool because it's like this is such a cool bonding casual experience you know I mean like North Americans we camp in the summer because it's breathable outside whereas the winter here it's you don't combust into flames so it's fun to camp in the desert out here during this time. And no hangovers. And no hangovers! You don't drink hangovers. Yeah, just yummy, yummy, yummy tea. That tastes kind of like honey. Because there's shit lot of sugar in there. <laughs> <laughs> but you said two spoons. No, three cups. Oh, three cups? Oh, I shook it. <laughs> well, that's why I kept on going on last night. Like, yeah, 2 a.m., yeah. And then now I wake up, I'm like, ah, oh. but no hangovers, just exhaustion. <laughs> and from this experience, we just got to learn, last night we got to learn so much about life here, life in Saudi Arabia, life as a Saudi, and our friends were just so forthcoming, so open. Like, how many times did they came up to you and just were, like, just talk and... I tell them they wanted the honest opinions. What? They wanted the honest opinions. Yeah, exactly. They want honest opinions. They wanted to be like, what do you think of our country? What do you think of your experience here? And they were saying like, if you have any questions whatsoever, just ask us. It was just so open. And so we did. <laughs> we asked them about education here. You know, like how the university, because a lot of them are in universities still, how learning is here, um, the university for the longest time, uh, and some of them still get paid by the government to go to school. And the government gives out a lot of scholarships, and then everything from families, and how even though everyone is united under the Saudi Arabia uh, nationality, everyone here are in tribes and so you have several different tribes and your lineage is very important um, your bloodline and knowing where you come from and your uh, your last names everybody can know what tribe you come from 
and I think just that that is really cool itself. Like I know I'm from the Lee Dynasty in Vietnam. <laughs> and you? <laughs> well, my last name is like a tor torture device. So. <laughs> and that's hint, a, hint. that's how he knows where he comes from. <laughs> Medieval times <laughs> in Europe. Yeah. Well, the whole country itself is bigger than. France and UK put together and so when you talk about the Middle East it's a huge region and if we're talking about Saudi Arabia itself and the things that have happened here you know young people majority of people here are young about 50 to 70 percent I believe that they said of the population is 25 to 30 people no, 70 percent is under 30 70 percent is under 30 Okay, that's huge. And they are very aware of what's going on. And they even said that, you know, the news outlet is biased. You can't really get unbiased news. It's illegal to get un the unbiased news from local TVs and radios. So, but they're aware. And that's very important that they know what's going on. And change is coming and it is happening with the new crown prince as well. And again, certain situations that has happened in the country it's hard to kind of group that as a representative of the whole country because there's so many different tribes there's over 20 million people here living their lives here so it, it was really interesting getting a Saudi Arabian perspective on that and just being able to talk with them throughout the whole night while we were dancing with swords and the dinner last night can we talk about the dinner last night because <laughs> that that was like i think that was one of my favorite part of the whole night they gave me the tongue i didn't have a tongue well i my plate you're you sitting on the, the you got the ass side <laughs> <laughs> yeah because well, you're sitting at a different table <laughs> yeah for well, table as in different part of the camp floor um so it was a huge it was sheep right i think i remember that it was sheep as a huge sheep and it was four different areas of seating so i guess there was two huge sheep that was cut in half and so i guess you got the front side of it the upper <laughs> the head and then i got the bum part <laughs> but at my table uh, how was wait? So you got the you said you had to offer, an offer the tongue? Yeah, because that's apparently custom to offer the guests because it's the best part. Oh, and it was very nice, very juicy. Was it? How was the texture? I picture it to be fuzzy. No, we had it before in Iceland. Oh, okay. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's so, very nice, very um, succulent. <laughs> My favorite word to describe food: succulent. <laughs> yeah, the sheep meat was so good. I also very learned. Tender. The Saudi Arabians, uh, when they eat, they uh, they don't eat until they're full. They picture that their stomachs is in three quarters. So one quarter is for food, one quarter is for water, and then one quarter is for air. So you don't, so you shouldn't eat until you're full. And the Prophet Muhammad said that as okay. well, actually. And they live up to that. And even last night, like they didn't eat until they were full. And then there were these yogurt fermented yogurt fermented kind of like buttermilk drink that traditionally we would drink after our meals which was nice too so you did that like during the meal like the the eating only half by scooping your head and then dropping half on the floor and then eating the rest <laughs> that's that's how i kept myself not full <laughs> is because as i was scooping it with my right hand how did you do it because i was like literally like tilt my whole head back like uh, that's why I didn't couldn't film because I was like, no. like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just stood everywhere. It was so good though, but I just wish I didn't waste so much. I mean, we didn't even finish. Did you guys finish your? No, no, no. Yeah, it was huge. <laughs> you at least I uh, you use your tongue like a cow. You keep grab it in your hand like, and then you like lick it up. That's a good Scoop advice. It your, that's a good. One. They they pat it in their the palm of their hand to make it more solid. solid to like eat and it scoop it up with your tongue yeah I should have I barely spilled anything 
really? <laughs> I was such a mess. I think some of my pants are still stained with the the rice. That we were in different sections. <laughs> I, was just, I was such an embarrassment. <laughs> but best dinner so far in Saudi Arabia. So. The only questions I would say that we didn't ask them, we asked them about politics, we asked them about religion, we asked them about women rights. The only, and what did they, one of them were really happy for also for their sisters, right? Yeah, because uh, the sister has a better job than he has. So he was like, women are uh, these days uh, quite equal here. Yeah, and so we asked them about all of the things that were on the forefront but the only thing that we didn't ask them about was lgbtq and their opinions on it because mostly because we are also as you know <laughs> and also we're guests so we don't want to make it difficult for them on those topics when it directly affects us and make it awkward exactly because this is this is just their you know holiday they are mostly from Riyadh. Uh, their families originated from here in the Hale region, but they are here to have fun too, and we are just invited to have fun with them. And you know, yeah. So, but it's something we can ask when we host them. Yeah, yeah. I'm really looking forward to that as well, because they're really well traveled too. <laughs> This is nice, we have a little bit of some breakfast spread to start off the morning when everybody wakes up. <laughs> uh, we have some jam. Ooh, what else? We have some bits of olive, little veggies here. A bit of cheese. Of course, lots of pita bread. And then uh, when the uh, uh, It was so empty yesterday when all the all the musicians, everybody yeah, left. It was like, wow, so yeah. like, we're so many people. For that. <laughs> so Today it's empty. Yeah, <laughs> they're nice and quiet now. Yeah. <laughs> it was like going to the club last night. Yeah, like, yeah. Tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit but this one. It's a little bit over, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't drink anything. Yeah, but it's still a little bit over. <laughs> instead of that beautiful camp. The best way to learn about history, about culture, is to talk and share with his people. Being here, I'm just utterly grateful that I got the chance to absorb, to participate, to experience tradition, open, engaging conversations, and just generosity and grand hospitality of Saudi Arabia with local Saudis themselves. Last night was unique and just so special and has become one of my absolutely favorite travel memories ever. Well, if you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and leave me a comment about 
you know, what, what do you think of our desert camping trip with our local new Saudi friends? And tune in to the next vlog for more adventures from Saudi Arabia.